want to wish a hearty Mazel Tov to Robert and Laura Berg on the birth of their firstborn son. Lovely news. Mazel Tov to David Berg and to the Friedman family, Howard and Amanda, and to the extended family. Lovely news. And we look forward to celebrating Simchas, please God, in person in the very near future. Mazel Tov to you all. And we wish happy birthday to those with birthdays and a happy anniversary to those with anniversaries, um, including my wife and myself, whose 19th wedding anniversary is this coming Friday. So, uh, yes, happy anniversary to us. Um, the joke is told that the chap who left some unattended emotional baggage and caused an insecurity alert. This week we read the Ten Commandments, Yaseret Hadibrot. And of course, the Tenth Commandment is all about jealousy. It says, Los Achmoid Beis Reyecha, you shouldn't be envious of your friend's house, Los Achmoid Eishas Reyecha, or his wife, Babdova Masov Sharov Chamarai, his manservant, his maidservant, his ox, his cow, Bachoil Ashala Reyecha, indeed anything belonging to your friend, to your neighbor. So don't be jealous of your neighbor's house, that's his real estate, his property. Right, whether it's his holiday home or his flat in Walthamstow, whatever it is, don't be envious of his, of, of his property. His wife, his family, don't be jealous of someone else's family. His servants, I guess, is how he lives his life. You know, nowadays, I don't know what that would be, whatever. He's got a gardener, maybe he has a housekeeper, I don't know. Don't be jealous of the people who work for somebody they can afford to have. And his ox and his cow, I guess nowadays that's his car or his boat if he has one. Or his motorbike. So basically you've covered everything. Family, if you can afford to have people working for you, your real estate, your husband or wife, um, and all your possessions, basically. One shouldn't be jealous of another person. Okay, fine. Then the Torah, which we know so well, does not waste words, ends off with, and everything that belongs to your friends. I don't understand. You shouldn't be jealous of your friend's property or family or employees, or other assets, or everything that belongs to your friend. Why do you need everything? You covered pretty much most things. So there's a very beautiful explanation, which is this. When you're gonna come along and you're gonna say, oh, that guy has such a nice house. I wish I could have a house like that, or a second house like that. Oh, he has such a wonderful wife, or husband, or kids, or grandchildren, or whatever. I wish my family were like that. Oh, he's so lucky, can afford a cleaning out five days a week. Someone to look after the garden, a nanny, whatever it is. I wish I had something like that. Oh, look at them, they have such nice possessions. I wish I could have a car like that. I wish I could have a, whatever, a silver candlestick like that. When you're going to say that to yourself, ask yourself, would I want to have everything that person has? Is what you see on the surface that you get jealous of. But would you like to have their whole life? Would you really like to be somebody else? Because you don't know what goes on behind the closed doors of that beautiful house on Bishop's Avenue or wherever it is. You don't know what goes on once they close the door of that Rolls Royce. You don't know what goes on behind that perfect, picture-perfect family that seems to have it all. And I can tell you there's a lot that goes on behind closed doors that we don't know about. Everybody has their sorrows. So the Torah says, you want to be jealous of someone else. You want to wish you had someone else's life. Take it to the logical extreme. Would you want to have their whole life with all the Torahs that goes with it? And the answer is probably not. So don't be jealous of other people. Because they may seem to have nice things. But you don't know what their whole peckle, their whole package, all their baggage is. There's a saying in Yiddish that everyone has their peckle in life. A pack. Everyone has their baggage. And you don't know what baggage someone else has. And you wouldn't really want to have someone else's baggage because you can't deal with it because you have your own. So before we get jealous of other people, which is a very normal human emotion to feel, and it causes family rows, it causes breakups of friendships. Right? One of the reasons that we talk a lot about eye in her other evil eye, because if you flaunt your success, other people are jealous of it and they look at you, they look daggers, they look at you with dirty looks. It causes arguments, it causes strife, it causes family broigases. Says the Torah, don't be jealous of other people because you don't really want their whole, their whole, pack, their peckle. You don't want all their baggage. You don't even know what their baggage is. Be happy with everything you have, with all the Torahs that goes with it. That's what the Torah is telling us. I think it's an Indian folk story about the villagers that 
you know, they all decided that they were bored of their relatively simple lives. And so they came up with an idea that they would do a sort of, a, I was going to secret Santa is not appropriate, but for in time we can do it, like a, a secret mystery Mishlach Manot, that everyone would swap something. So they all came together in the village hall and everyone was told, bring your most prized possession. And they put them all into the center. This one was, I don't know, maybe it was even a cow, whatever it was. Somebody brought, I don't know, his siddha, his tefillin, his uh, kiddish cup, whatever it was. And they all put it into the center. And they said, now take out whatever you want. And they said, in the end, everyone took back their own possession. Because we should all be happy with what we have and value what we have. Don't be jealous of others. First of all, it's not right. It's not good. It's not, not healthy. Be happy with what you have. Be grateful to God. But secondly, if you're going to be jealous, just ask yourself, would you really want this person's life? And the answer is probably not. You don't even know what they're going through. You really don't know what they're going through. So be happy with what we have, even if it's challenging. And realize that everybody has their baggage, even if you don't see it. Don't think that the person who seems to have the perfect life has the perfect life. And for all you know, they're looking at you and thinking, he's so lucky. He has a perfect life. She has a perfect life. It tells us in Pekavot, Eze, who is, Asher, who is rich, Hasameh Pechalka, someone who is happy with their lot. Particularly now, in the difficult times that we find ourselves, when we all have a lot of baggage, some of it we probably don't even recognize yet, from all the challenges we face, I'm sure it will get worse. As time goes on and certain things heal, people have had simchas, people have bereavements, people have lost their jobs, people are struggling financially, people are struggling with loneliness, people are struggling with mental health, we all have baggage. And yes, you should deal with your baggage, but realize everybody has baggage. Don't be jealous of other people because we all have our heckle. We all have our challenges to bear. And that's what the Torah is saying. Don't be jealous of someone else because unless you really want their life with all the nonsense and all the nourishment and all the sorrows that goes with it, be happy with who you are and be satisfied. These days we have a lot to worry about. We also have a lot to be thankful for. May we all learn to be satisfied with what we have even with all the challenges that go with that to realize that the person living the perfect life probably has it even harder than we do we just don't see it and therefore just to be happy with what we have i wish everyone shabbat shalom take care stay safe and well